Um, so interest rates are low. Um, can you share like what impact does that have compared to like interest rates a couple years ago? Um, you know, where it's a, a point or two uh, percent or two higher. What what how, why is that so beneficial? And and what kind of a drastic impact does that make on someone's monthly payment taking advantage of today's interest rates as opposed to what was the previous normal? Yeah, I mean, anytime you have rates that are in the twos, it's just it's, it's historical lows, and the, all indication is that you know they're going to stay this way, uh, you know, at least until the rest of this year, and then we'll see what's going to happen next year. But it just gives you more of a buying power. So this time, compared to 2019, when rates were at at the last point that they were almost at their highs, and they've been coming down since then, you you, you basically have eighty thousand dollars worth of buying power. So you know the difference between buying a $200,000 home and buying a $280,000 home. Your payment's the same now than it was in 2019. That's going to put you in a different type of home, maybe add an extra bedroom for you, maybe get you a garage, uh, maybe move you on a different side of town that you want to be on as well. So that buying power is huge. So people ask me all the time, you know, what do you think about the housing prices and are we overpaying for all this? And I'm like, I don't think you're overpaying for it all. It's, it's what the market is set at. But what I do know is that you're getting the lowest interest rate, which is offsetting. If you are paying an extra 30, 40 grand over, you're going to get that back. Plus, you're taking advantage of the low interest rate.